Hi guys, well there's another one, uh, as I said in my last uh, unboxing of the 320, um, I was going to get, uh, I had the two, and this is the other one, hope you can see that, um, basically overall dimensions 250mm, um, centre frame dimensions 225mm length, millimetres length, 55 millimeters wide, 85 millimeters height, including the landing gear. This one weighs in at 157 grams. Motors, I believe, are the same as the other ones. Um, BE 1806 2300 kV times 4, 20 amp ESCs again times 4. Props 5030 carbon fiber times 2. Um, I believe that will be times four, unless they expect it to fly on two. Oh, another case. Now I am impressed. What I liked about the three thirty, sorry, yeah, the three thirty one, is as you can see there, you've got your carrying handle. Um, What else we have? Oh, yep, Excite 250. Again, looks very nice. Bag of bits and pieces again, props. There they are, yep, CF5030 carbon fibre. I don't think the other ones were carbon fibre. Uh, we'll have to check up. Landing gear, connections for your. Um, Connections for the board again. It's a uh, CC3D. Very nice, very well made. It is. I'll get this out of the road so you can see there. But that is very nice. I must admit. As I said before, I'm not very, uh, not a, a great fan of, uh, or never was, of uh, small multi rotors, but. This is nice, small, compact. Yeah, could easily put that, as you said, in the box, in the carrying case. Carry that about. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few mods for it, as other people get, which will be interested in. I might even do a few myself. Who knows? Um, again, the front. There's your seat for your camera. Again, I don't like these. I'm a, well, it's a bit the only thing I would say that lets it down. Here, is that going to affect the board if it comes down hard? I would say yes. So we need to be careful of that. Um, I would have said probably to try and somehow put another support in here. Uh, that's my own view on it. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. Again, does this have? Yep. Yeah, again, it has the the Ubex uh, five bolt, I believe, out. Um, very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. The That's front here, back here. Enough room to put a. Um, yeah, a battery on it and a camera. Basically, if you're just going to be filming and flying about, I think this one would be quite nippy. Um, very agile, from what I've seen of the other ones. Um, uh, the, C the CC3D, sorry. A uh, controller is is, uh, is a very good controller. Um, yeah, ESC is already attached to the board, as you can see. Um, I'll have to do. Yeah, yeah, it's all. Yeah, plates all done. Same as like what the the DJI ones that came out originally. But I like the thumb screws. I think the only thing that lets them down so far is, to me anyway, is these white plastic um, 
pillars. They would have been nice if they were in aluminium gold, eh, sorry, in, in the red as well. I think that's something I might end, end up changing myself. Um, but in the other, the other video I didn't do uh, uh, opening up the bag to see what was in it. Apologies guys, but you know, it's one of those things. Okay, you get four props, inserts, carbon fibre, and what else do we get? Um, no, yeah, the connectors for connecting up to the CC3D. Um, and I believe, from what I understand, is you can configure the CC3D uh, via Bluetooth as well, change the settings and that, which is, uh, is something I learned there the other day. Which is quite good. Uh, from what I can understand is um, you can do it from um, your laptop. Um, you can also do it via um, an Android phone. But you're unable to do it with an iPhone. Uh, which I think is a bit of a shame. Um, because I mean if you can do something like that you're just well supporting both. Um, there we have the prop adapters. Some screws, some more spare screws I think, and what else do we have, screws and washers, and are we, oh these are the landing legs, landing gear clip on the arm, not sure if I would use them, um, the way it's set up the way it is I would probably leave it a bit landing, you know, it seems quite sturdy there, not as if I'm going to be carrying a camera underneath it or anything but yeah as you can see but anyway guys that's the, the Excite XCITE 250 from DYS uh, again very interested in to get this thing in the air and give it a wee try out and as I said I'll report back um, when I get some flight videos done thanks guys thanks for watching and all the best for later